So let me try to give you an idea about how much variety you can play around with the syntax of the loops. If you want to make a variable whatever and basically count it up to 100 and that's when the loop is going to stop. So for example over here in the last part where some action is taken just like the body of the for loop is the action that's taken. Truth is that you could just skip away this thing, leave this part empty and make this whatever over here plus plus and that'll basically have the same effect as having whatever plus plus right over here because every time this expression is evaluated to see if it's true or not at the same time whatever is going to be incremented by one or for example you can really just take the whole thing out of the for loop parentheses you can create your int variable outside from before and um, you can make your test if whatever is less than a hundred inside the body of the for loop and the way you do that is if whatever plus plus is less than a hundred then break and break as we learned will exit the for loop and that's it so as you see you could take everything out of the for loop and just leave it like that and of course since over here we're just doing one simple statement over here we're not really doing much so we could take this all out of the braces and and this in itself would be a full-fledged normal for loop with a if statement on the other hand you could take full advantage of the parentheses of the for loop which is actually called the header of the for loop and you can pretty much take all the action needed just inside of the parentheses and you will have no continuation in the body of the for loop for example here we do already all the action we need if you'd like you can even um, do something over here like print hello and um, that's it you could just you don't even need anything in the body in the inside of the for loop you just put a semicolon right there and your entire loop is enveloped in just the header of the for loop because over here we're creating a variable over here we are also incrementing it every round and we are also checking to see if we still want to continue looping and over here which is just like the body like the inside of the for loop we take whatever action we'd like like printing out hello or whatever so as you can see the syntax is pretty flexible uh, of course as we learned you could if you're bored you can replace the semicolon with a opening and closing brace which is just as good as having just a semicolon because it's all an empty body an empty inside of the for loop and here's how I would play around with the uh, while loop uh, here I'm creating again a whatever variable and I'm just using a very tiny simple while loop which uh, pretty much just counts it up one by one until a hundred so what what's happening over here is that while the variable whatever which is going to be incremented every round is less than a hundred then nothing that's it that's all we need to be done there's no body there's just a semicolon or opening a closing brace uh, again this, there's nothing inside of the while loop everything is happening right over here and the action taken the only action that's taken that's being taken every round is that whatever is being incremented one by one each round or you can just make the while loop always be true like by typing while true which means that basically the while loop will always continue and continue running which is just as good as writing like while one or while four or anything that's not zero because that's just as much as true and then inside the body of the while loop that's where you would uh, test to see if we'd like to continue looping here we are testing that if whatever which is going to be increment incremented is more than a hundred then break out of the loop and it's just going to continue the rest of the code so while it really looks like this is going to be an infinite loop because it's always going to be true but still we make sure that over here we have a break statement which will happen at some point again just a reminder by the way 
um, what's happening over here is that the variable whatever is going to be incremented by 1 but that only happens after the evaluation is uh, is checked which means first we are evaluating if whatever is more than a hundred and then whatever is going to be incremented by one because we are putting the plus plus at the end of the variable whatever which is the postfix increment operator and that's why it's done after anything else uh, if we put this obviously in the beginning of the whatever variable then first this will be incremented and then it will be expressed as a expression to be evaluated with this operation and again over here you don't even need a opening and closing brace the body of the of the while loop you could just leave it with the semicolon and that takes care of it because there's just one statement over here that's happening inside of the while loop so there's no need to have a opening and closing brace which envelops many statements and it's pretty much the same thing with the do while loop uh, same as like what we see now with the while loop uh, it's just that the statement is going to be put between the do and the while and if we want to have more than one statement we'll have to use braces otherwise we can just leave it just like that um, everything in one line uh, if you're doing it everything in one line then you will not need a semicolon after the statement that's happening inside um, no, I'm sorry you will need you will always need a semicolon at the end of this statement that you're doing in the do while loop whether you have braces or not so forget about what I just said and you could pretty much play around a lot with the syntax in the do while loop as well as we've seen with the other loops here's another good keyword to use uh, when you're in when you're doing when you're making your loops and that's the word continue um, what continue does it could happen many times in your loops that like after your loop filled up with a whole bunch of stuff to do and became pretty big at some point in your loop you, you might want to uh, stop right there and loop again without finishing the whole list of stuff to do for example here's our uh, do while loop made a little bit more complicated just for fun so at some point in your whole complicated loop you might want to for some reason like for example if x is more than 50 um, whatever x is probably some variable you made before so you might want to do whatever is in here and then right away um, not finish the loop and just skip ahead from the beginning again so what you'd want to do is use the continue word what continue does is that it skips the rest of the inside of the loop whatever is between the opening and the closing brace and it just skips ahead to uh, however that particular loop works for example in a do while loop it will skip right away to the while expression to see if this is true or not and then it'll continue looping from the beginning um, in a for loop I'm sorry let's talk about in a while loop um, what happens is we skip ahead all the rest of the code and we jump right away to the back back to the beginning to the while expression um, in the for loop we will uh, stop right there and skip right away to the beginning of the for loop and continue the, f the loop as if everything is going normal so the only thing basically that continue does is it will uh, stop execution it will avoid execution of the rest of the loop that you're inside it will go right away to basically the closing brace and back to the beginning of the loop again instead of continuing instead of doing the whole entire inside of that loop so it doesn't stop looping we continue looping as regular and everything will will continue happening whatever it will increment it will test the condition everything will happen as normal the only difference is that we didn't do the whole entire for loop as soon as we reached the continue statement we skipped right away to the closing brace and then we 
started back to the beginning, as if it was just a regular day at the for loop. 